Hey guys, Prof here for the Tech Exchange along with Hamlet. Um, and what we've got today is something that Cooler Master sent over for the Pro Fist. So that's why Hamlet's here. He gets to open all of these boxes. All right, so this was sent over uh, from Cooler Master. I don't know if you guys can uh, make that out or not and with the 4K camera. Uh, they sent it over uh, actually because I asked for it. That would be why they sent it over. It's a rather interesting accessory that I would like to integrate with, integrate into my rebuild of my desktop Anthrax 9. Um, and it's just a small accessory that uh, I think will improve cable management for people who, especially with larger cases. If you're already pretty confined or I would say like a fractal defined series or smaller with an ATX case, um, this may not be the product for you. However, if you're dealing with me, like I have my uh, Case Labs SMA8-A or some of the larger Cooler Master case, like their Cosmos, this will help you, I would say. Um, we went with the brown tape. I would have gone with purple because that's Cooler Master's color. However, I couldn't find it. So it was brown due to the theme of my build. Oh, and uh, Hamlet here, who's getting me all full of fur. Because, uh, you know, since it's a Cooler Master product, I thought he should be here, since he helped us out with the uh, the last video with their uh, MM520 and MM530. All right, so what we have here, and it's something super simple, is their... ATX 24 pin 90 degree adapter with added capacitors for stable power output. I'm going to grab some uh, quick close ups up here and uh, open it up and I'll show you what where it goes and what it does uh, if you can't already tell by the name of the product. All right, so I just uh, took a look to double check and I don't know how available this product is. Now, um, I did ask for it and told them I would do a video on it to feature it for you guys because I do plan on using this in my Anthrax 9 build. Um, it is a rather unique part, in my opinion, and I do use things like this. Um, actually, very common for me to use this guy right here. What this is is that's four right angle state adapters. They do have one with only two. It's by Silverstone. And uh, what, it, uh, what it has is capacitated power in here, which is specifically why I asked for the capacitated power adapter. Um, and then it splits it out to four right angle adapters. This way, say uh, um, you have four drives, and when they all kick on, when the system kicks on, you got the capacitated power in there, so it theoretically uh, won't have a drop when they all kick on at once. You get the same sort of thing in this right angle adapter, except it also lifts it up and makes it you know, right angle your board so you don't have to loop into your 24 pin. It's just plug it straight in the side. Downside, this is like 20 bucks for a very small adapter like this. And that's why I was kind of saying if you're not doing a really big build physically or you don't need it, say an ITX build, this might be very useful to so you don't have to have all that extra cable making that bend. Uh, it's also somewhat comparable to this EVGA power link adapter that moves the adapters. However, this seems much less bulky. And we'll get this popped open here real quick. Like I said, uh, the few places I did see it, I think these were 20 bucks roughly. I don't know if it was specifically the capacitated power one or not. It doesn't seem all that readily available, but definitely reach out to Cooler Master if you can't seem to find one. They're usually good about that. So here's really all it is. There's your 24 pin plug for your motherboard with your clip. Now this seems very hard to access. Other things like this have normally had like something you can press on on the top here, which would make it look a little worse. So you'll have to unplug your 24 pin from here before you can get at that clip, more than likely. It's a little bit bulky, but from the top, that's gonna look pretty darn clean if you ask me. I almost would've wished they wouldn't have put the Cooler Master logo on there, but I know they have to have some branding so you know what it is when it's installed in a system like Anthrax 9. 
So next up, we're going to, since this packaging was so simplistic, just a little past plastic tray and a cardboard box, we're going to install that in Anthrax 9, which is currently covered in a crap ton of boxes behind my chair. I have three builds in progress. The one on the right is an Antec 900. That will be modded to fit my latest server. If you can see, there's three hot swaps in the front there. I also need to modify some panels. In the Antec 300, which is basically become my test bench, currently is the hardware for my new server. Um, because modding the case is gonna take long enough that I would like to be able to work on the software and make sure the hardware is good in the meantime. And then we have Anthrax, which just finished cleaning its water cooling, which I will now be installing this 24 pin in for you. I just need to adjust some legs. So the point we're looking at, oops, and yes, my case is a bit odd. I can zoom out for you real quick here and show you. That's my case. It is upside down and backwards and it's on casters, which is a case I've wanted since I built my first build and determined that was my ultimate layout. And what we're gonna do is all we need is this guy here. If you look, here's my 24 pin cutout. Here's my 24 pin. Now normally this would have to come out and make a big loop to plug into there. However, we now have our fancy pants, Cooler Master adapter. All you have to do then is plug. So as you can see, we have that installed. Now it's about the height of my RAM, which is actually basically just slightly lower. So this, that's a G Skill Trident Z, specifically X99 Trident Z. I did find it on a really good sale because I'm running X99, not 299. Um, I really didn't see a reason to go up a platform. And all it does though, is if you look on this board, it makes it flush with the G Skill Trident Z, which I would say is like average height for a high-end desktop gaming RAM. It would be higher than, say, if you had standard height RAM. But on this Trident Z, which is just a little taller than normal, it's right about the same height. And I do have RAM coolers that go on here. And since they clear the RAM, they'll clear this, this adapter. I think it looks very, very clean. And it's definitely going to be able to make me, I can just go straight out of here into there, rather than having to have this big loop and try to make that clean. So if you have a high-end system, uh, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be as high-end as mine. Uh, even though I do have some older components in here. On the table over there, you saw the Optane Drive, 2080 Ti, et cetera. You may want to look into that because especially on these bigger cases where you have to make these big, long movements, it might be a little bit easier. Also with my RAM coolers, it's going to be easier to get at that connector. The other place where this thing might do well is an ITX rig. So say in an ITX rig, you don't have enough room to make that loop. Putting this on there might allow you to go direct connect and maybe get a shorter custom cable or have better access and that sort of stuff. Now that I've seen these capacitated 24 pins, I wanna see capacitated eight pins and four pins as well because this is super duper nice. Uh, well, hopefully you guys liked my quick uh, unboxing and introduction video to this just little accessory for your, you know, your build and your power supply from Cooler Master. It's listed as the ATX 24 pin 90 degree with the little degree symbol adapter and this one specifically is the one I asked for with the added capacitors. Uh, other reviewers I saw like Paul's Hardware, I don't believe got the capacitated version. Now based on my experience, especially with uh, the SATA adapter, I would go with that. There is benefit to that. A lot of power supplies are already using a capacitor in your actual cable that comes from the stock power supply. So say if you bought aftermarket ones that don't have capacitors in there, uh, this might be an, a nice way to add it to meet those same efficiencies. Otherwise, I like it for the right angleness. And I don't know if there's a huge price difference between with or without capacitors, but usually if you're looking to spend 20 bucks on an adapter, which is what at least I've seen they go for, you can spring for a couple bucks more to get the capacitated version. Well guys, uh, let me know what you thought about this. Hit a like down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment on what you thought about the adapter, any feedback you have for it, any feedback you have for my build. If it's longer stuff uh, and you would like me to respond to it, hit up our website, which is the-tech-exchange.com and uh, throw a comment on the post uh, for this video and I'll get back to you and I might be able to help you out with using this in your build. Links to where you can find this will be down below for Cooler Master's website and anywhere else. You might be able to pick this up and we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.